We'll now discuss the derivative of the exponential functions, and we'll start with one of the easier exponential functions. The derivative of e to the ax is a times e to the ax. So for an example, if I have e to the 7x, the derivative is going to be 7 e to the 7x. If I have something like 4 e to the minus 3x, then my derivative, I'm going to bring the negative 3 down to make it negative 12 e to the minus 3x. Now let's look at this function. We want to find the tangent line at 0, 1. For the tangent line, we do need the derivative should be 4 e to the 4x. And we need to evaluate this at our x value, which in this case is 0. e to the 0 is 1 times 4 is 4. So I have my y value plus my uh, derivative times x minus my x value. So if we simplify this, my tangent line would be 4x plus 1. So that worked for the natural exponential when we had a base e, but what if our base is something else? So if we have a base b, so we have b to the ax, then the derivative is going to be a times b to the ax times ln of b, provided that our base is positive. So slightly more complicated because we do have this extra ln of b term. Technically, we had that before, but ln of e is just 1, so we got to ignore it. But let's try some examples. If I have something like 8 to the 4x, then my derivative will be 4 times 8 to the 4x ln of 8. If I have something like 3 times 7 to the 2x, then my derivative is going to be, I'll bring the 2 down, 3 times 2 is 6, times 7 to the 2x, ln of 7. And let's do one more example with tangent lines. Here I want to find the tangent line at x equal to 3. So first we're going to stick 3 in. We need 5 cubed times 2 plus 7 would give us a y value of 257. We also need the derivative. The derivative of a constant is just 0. And then I have this 5. So I have a 5x ln of 5. Since there's no number inside of the exponent, I don't need to multiply by anything out front. I then also need to evaluate this at 3. So I have 5 cubed times 2 times ln of 5, which is 625 ln 5. So my line is the y value minus my derivative, 625 ln 5. Ah, sorry, not 625. It's actually supposed to be 250. I made that way bigger. And then times x minus my x value of 3. 